On May 12, 2024, two titans of the lightweight category went toe-to-toe -to -toe in the ring. This was a fight that meant something more. Reputations were on the line, titles, and most of all, legacies. The Ukrainian boxer versus the Australian boxer. A bout of titans. Vasily Lomachenko faced George Kambosos in the ring a few weeks ago. It was an enthralling fight that went on for 11 rounds. With the exceptional qualities of the fighters in the ring, the promise was lived up to. The fighters fought for the vacant IBF lightweight title. Kambosos had his eyes on not only the title, but a win against the great Lomachenko, which would bolster his reputation. While Lomachenko was looking to regain his status as a world champion, follow us as we journey through both fighters and how they came up to this great fight. Like most boxers from a young age, Lomachenko developed a passion for boxing. This was instilled in him by his father, who was also his trainer. Lomachenko once admitted he would have followed his other passion for ice hockey if his father hadn't nudged him in the direction of boxing. Eventually, Lomachenko became an amateur boxer in 2007. He began at the World Championship, where he made his mark and earned a silver medal for his country. The following year, amateur Lomachenko cemented his name as a potential great as he took home the gold medal in the Olympic game in Beijing. Not only did Lomachenko win the gold, but he won it with conviction as he won over his opponents by a margin of 45 points. In the same year, Lomachenko claimed gold at the European Championships. Success was everywhere. Lomachenko turned as he kept raking in gold medals in championships as an amateur. Lomachenko eventually moved up to lightweight in 2011. The following year, the Ukrainians claimed another gold medal at the Olympics. Lomachenko fought at the amateur level for six years, averaging an impressive record of 396 wins and losing only one fight, which he avenged multiple times. Now his eyes were set on the professional stage. In 2013, Vasily Lomachenko made his professional debut in the U.S. against the Mexican fighter Jose Ramirez. Lomachenko displayed his drive and skills as he knocked out the Mexican in just the fourth round. It was the perfect start. Lomachenko's next professional fight saw the young Lomachenko ambitious. In just his second professional fight, Lomachenko challenged WBO featherweight holder Orlando Salido. Although Salido struggled to meet the required weight limit, the fight happened anyway. The fight was conservative as Lomachenko kept his distance and suffered headshots and body shots. A lot of foul blows were made by Salido, which the referee ignored. By split decision, Lomachenko lost his second professional fight. Still, the WBO title was vacant as Salido didn't meet the weight requirement. So Lomachenko still had a shot at the title in just his third fight. His opportunity came against Gary Russell, the match was extremely competitive, and it would need a judge's decision to decide the champion. One judge scored it a draw, while the other two were in favor of the Ukrainian. Lomachenko joined Muang Surin as the only boxer to ever win a world championship in the shortest amount of time. The hunger became evident in Lomachenko, as he wanted more. He moved up a weight class and immediately claimed a new world title against Roman Martinez. Lomachenko went on defending his title and also picking up more titles along the way. He was becoming unstoppable. His eyes were set on the undisputed world champion title. Currently, only three boxers have the title of undisputed, which shows it's a rarity. Lomachenko became obsessed with achieving this. Many have easy ways to achieve this, as they simply faced a challenger who had all the titles at once. Lomachenko, on the other hand, did not, and he had to win his titles one by one. Lomachenko had all the titles except one, which was the IBF championship that belonged to Teofimo Lopez at the time. A match was fixed, and finally Lomachenko had a chance at achieving his dream. Things would not go the way of Lomachenko, as he would lose the fight to Lopez by the judge's decision. Lomachenko's camp felt the judge's decision was wrong, but nothing could be changed now. That might make Lopez the undisputed world lightweight champion. Lomachenko had another opportunity to become undisputed as he faced the undisputed champion, Devin Haney. Despite being dominant in several rounds, 
Haney prevailed by a unanimous decision. This result was heavily disputed by many. This was Lomachenko's third career loss and his second that was heavily disputed. Australian professional boxer George Cambosos Jr. has made a name for himself in the sport with his tenacity and resilience. Cambosos, who was born in Sydney on June 14, 1993, started boxing at an early age. With multiple victories and a growing name in the Australian boxing scene, his early amateur career set a solid foundation and demonstrated his ability. In May 2013, Cambosos made his professional debut by defeating Jason McGura in a second-round knockout. His intense fighting style, deft movement, and unwavering quest for success defined his debut and set the tone for the rest of his career. Over the next few years, Cambosos built an impressive record, consistently defeating opponents and climbing the ranks in the lightweight division. In 2017, Cambosos won the Australian Lightweight Championship by knocking out Cry Sethophon in the ninth round. This win put him on the global map and was a huge turning point in his career. He had the opportunity to train alongside well-known boxers, including Manny Pacquiao, because of his unwavering work ethic and devotion to his art, which helped him hone his abilities and tactical sense. When Cambosos moved to the U.S. in 2018 to pursue fights with greater notoriety, his career took off. After defeating Jose Ferrero in Las Vegas to start his U.S. career, he triumphed over strong opponents like Richard Pena and Ray Perez. These triumphs cemented his standing as a strong competitor in the lightweight class. An important matchup between Cambosos and former IBF lightweight champion Mickey Bay took place at Madison Square Garden in December 2019. Given that Bay was a knowledgeable and proficient opponent, this bout was a true test of his skills. With a split decision, Cambosos prevailed. Another big test for Cambosos was a rematch with former IBF featherweight champion Lee Selby in London in October 2020. In a bout that served as a lightweight title eliminator, Cambosos prevailed with split decision. His technical mastery and strategic understanding were demonstrated by the victory, which also won him the mandatory challenger spot for the IBF lightweight championship. When Cambosso squared up against Teofimo Lopez, the undisputed lightweight champion, in New York in June 2021, his career hit a peak. Lopez was regarded as one of the world's top boxers pound for pound, therefore this much-awaited match was historic. Even though he was the underdog, Cambosos turned in an incredible performance, taking out Lopez in the opening frame and winning by split decision. With this victory, he was crowned the lightweight champion of the WBA, IBF, WBO, and the ring, propelling him into the highest ranks in boxing. After defeating Lopez, Cambosos competed for the undisputed lightweight championship in Australia in June and October of 2022 against Devin Haney. Despite losing both fights by unanimous decision, Cambosos demonstrated resilience and the heart of a champion, maintaining his status as a top contender in the division. Finally, the anticipated fight came on May 12, 2024. Lomachenko approached the fight with his typical southpaw stance, while Cambosos worked orthodoxly. Both fighters, wary of the threat of the other, circled their adversary and kept their distance. Lomachenko started the fight well in the early rounds, cornering Cambosos and hitting him with several combinations. The second round saw much of the same conservative approach from Lomachenko, as he kept his distance and circled Cambosos, the 36-year-old Ukrainian, way older than his adversary, was also way slower, and this had him at a disadvantage. Cambosos' blazing hand speed saw Lomachenko on the defensive in the second round, but yet when given the space, Lomachenko pounced. Lomachenko started the third round well with a good foot feint, following up with a jab. Known for now being able to move with his feet, Lomachenko displayed that in the third round as his speed improved with solid shots. The round saw some punches fly after the bell had gone. The fourth round saw Lomachenko try to cut off the ring, trapping Cambosos. 
Lomachenko maintained his footwork as he came in and out, landing great left hooks. Cambosos also had his moment as he landed counterpunches. Cambosos took charge of the fifth round as he turned up his aggression, landing good jabs and body shots. But still, Lomachenko regained momentum at the end of the round. The following rounds saw Lomachenko dominate, but Cambosos was still in the fight. In the ninth round, a barrage of punches saw blood streaming from the eyes of the Australian. The tenth round saw more of the same. The eleventh round saw the end of the fight. A great left hook from Lomachenko saw Cambosos fall, but it was ruled a slip. Another left hook from the Ukrainian saw the Australian go down again. This time, Cambosos narrowly missed the countdown. Right after he came back on his feet, Lomachenko pounced, and Cambosos fell for the third time. This time, his team threw in the towel. Lomachenko emerged victorious. His hand speed and athleticism proved vital in his triumph. Thanks for watching our video today. If you liked the video, please subscribe for the hottest boxing content out here. We have more boxing videos coming your way, so be on the lookout.